playoff tonight, Steve. Go. This has the feel of a playoff game. Kevin, these teams have had their battles in the past. It's always fun to see them match up. And now the opening lineup for Phoenix. Aiton is the pivot, and Crowder slides in at the four. A star backcourt of Paul and Booker are out there. And it's Bridges in at the small forward. Lakers passing it around. Four on the shot clock. Westbrook. The Lakers need to get a shot off here. A shot by Ellington. No good. Crowder kicks to Paul. The pass to Bridges. Back to Paul. Inside. It's stolen by Davis. In the corner, it's Ellington. Good, and the assist goes to LeBron. Ellington's got the first three points of the night up on the board for the Lakers. Pass it to Crowder. And Davis sends it back. The combination of agility and reach makes AD a lethal defender. Capable of sending shots back from anywhere. Now here's Booker, just five on the clock. The Suns need to get a shot off. Crowder with another miss. And on an open look like that, he's very gifted at making the weak coverage play. Here's Davis. Hits the layup after the sweet pump fake to freeze the D. These close-range shots are Davis's bread and butter. He is a consistent scorer inside. Ball against Westbrook. Booker in the corner. Aiton, the pass to Paul. In the corner, Crowder with it. Crowder with another miss. Lakers have gone two or three here to start out the game. Westbrook feeling it out a bit. Outside, Davis. Ariza has the open look. And again, it's the Lakers from deep. Finding a little rhythm here that they have to like where they're at. They're playing well. They're building momentum. This is how they can turn a small lead into a big one. Now here's Paul. Booker in the corner. Over Davis. A nice shot by Booker. The quick, clean shot there from Booker. Strong mechanics give him great accuracy. And, you know, Booker might have been a volume shooter at least early in his career, but now he's a legit number one option for an offense. Now here's Crowder after LeBron James's miss. And the rejection by James. They retain possession. It's Crowder on the wing. In the corner, it's Bridges. Hits it from three-point range. And, Craig, the efficiency for Booker has grown over the years. And no longer forcing shots. Takes what's available to him. And I believe he can be the leading scorer on a championship caliber team. And now another look at that mobile one block defensive performance. And an early swat like that can really set the tone. Now the shooters will be feeling his presence. First trip to the free throw line for him tonight. One shot. And that one falls for Ellington. And wherever he's been throughout his career, Wayne Ellington has always brought a steady shooting hand. And teams can depend on him to provide some pop from the outside. And we know that's what every team needs, a shooter. That's why his services are always in demand. Coaches love having a veteran sharpshooter like Ellington at their disposal. Booker against Westbrook. Knocked away and stolen by Booker. I'll tell you what, terrific anticipation defensively. Tracked it all the way. That pass had no chance. 
Ball against Westbrook. Eight in a screen on Westbrook. Booker with no one around. And a great assist by Paul as that one goes in. As a distributor, Paul is just a machine. He's constantly creating for his guys. The shot's good from Westbrook. And once he got to the 10, I think he was surprised to find himself that wide open. Wow, that's a defensive breakdown. Can't do that against good scores. Now here's Paul. He's been patient so far. Nothing on the scoreboard yet. And the foul called on Russell Westbrook. That's his first foul. Paul against a reason. Paul kicks to Booker. Back to Paul. On the wing, Booker is guarded by Davis. Excellent defense by Anthony Davis. He does not disappoint big time play from AD. Connects from three point range. Yeah, this looks like a pregame shoot around with all the threes they're allowed. Let's go now to the sideline and catch up with David Aldridge. Thank you, Kevin. Well, I briefly spoke with Coach Monty Williams. He talked about the importance of controlling where Russell Westbrook shoots from in this one. Coach said if we make him an outside shooter, that's a win for us. When he gets into the paint is when teams don't have an answer. So it looks like they'll invite Westbrook to shoot from deep as often as he wants. Guys? Thanks, David. Crowder finds Bridget. Suns moving the ball around. It's Crowder on the wing. And a great assist by Paul as that one goes in. Crowder's got six. Oh, great ball movement there. Pass to Ellington. Outside Westbrook. There's the dish to Davis. Here's Ariza. And the three off target. Here's the Suns with the ball. They're on a 14-3 run. Bridges passes to Paul. Davis against Booker. Kicks it out to Paul. Down to five on the shot clock. From 12 feet out. And James pulls it down. Lakers trail by three. Pass to Ellington. Outside Westbrook. And they double up LeBron. And Chris Paul picks up the foul. That is his first foul of the game. On defense, Phoenix. Davis gets to a reason. Outside Westbrook. Shot clock at five. And here's James outside. Sinks the three-pointer. Nice touch on the jumper. Even at this stage in his career, LeBron's floor spacing ability continues to evolve. Now here's Paul. Nothing yet on the scoreboard for him. Booker looking around. This one for three. Rebound the Lakers. And they had some boxed coverage that turned into no coverage. And Davis throws it down. You see the weight that AD's added to his frame over the years. Now invites contact. Paul outside. The pass to Bridges. Kicks to Crowder. Over Ellington. Booker outside. Carries the long range jumper. Booker's got eight. And how about the last five made shots have all been three. The defense is just giving up a barrage. And here's Davis for three. And it's Aiton with the rebound. Aiton's got rebound number eight now on the night. They've been beating them to a lot of those loose balls and rebounds here to start. Now here's Paul. Great touch on the 16-footer. 
And now a three-point Phoenix lead. On offense, CP3 has the green light from anywhere. Even the mid-range is in his comfort zone. And it's a completely new group for Los Angeles. And for the Suns, Frank Kaminsky, he's checked in for Aiton. And it's Payne in for Paul. Here's Rondo. Passes it to Monk, out left of the wing. Horton Tucker, the pass to Howard. Played in with a nice touch off the glass. You gotta feed Howard the rock when he's in the paint. He commands the ball whenever he has that kind of position. Bridges outside. Kaminsky is screen on run. Here's Booker, and it's Phoenix scoring again. As hot as he's been this quarter, the game plan is simple, folks. Get him the ball and get out of the way. To the middle. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. And Greg, with over a decade you had in the NBA, is there an opening night that you remember most? Man, that very first time putting on that Knicks jersey. The game was in Orlando. I played 28 minutes, which was a lot for a rookie back then. And... I'll never forget that night. First free throw is good. So for the Suns, Johnson comes in for Jay Crowder. And Landry Shamit subbed in for Devin Booker. And he can't hit the second. And so it looks like the Lakers will retain possession here. Well, a chance to check out Mikel Bridges here. He had a strong showing last season. 15th in three-point shooting. And he was in the top 20 in field goal percentage. Able to create offense with tremendous efficiency. And who could defend him last season out there? Defenders tried to body him up, play a little physical. But time and time again, he drilled the three anyway. We are still commanding a lot of defensive attention. Howard just keeps his head up and finds the open man. Shamit on the wing. Suns keep it alive. Hulk loose. Here's Rondo. He's still scoreless so far in this one. Here's Horton Tucker. Howard trying to free himself up. Again, Los Angeles. This form could have been much better seeing how much time he had to shoot that one. But he got it to fall. In the corner. Shamit with it. Offline with his three. And on the glass so far, it hadn't even been close. Horton Tucker. The pass to Carmelo. Rondo kicks the Monk. Here's Horton Tucker. And rebound by Johnson. Empty possession, and you don't want to miss these easy looks. And it's Payne in the corner. Back to Bridget. Now Shamit. Pass to Payne, just four to shoot. The outside leaner, and the shot is long. Easy chance for mid-range. Wouldn't be surprised to see them run that play again. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. And with the offense getting right to the rim, at least they saved the layup. And an important part of every team's game, a look at the hustle stats for the Lakers. They're doing a great job defensively down low. They've already racked up a lot of blocks. They've established an intimidation factor early in this one. Yeah, and one thing, Clark, I've noticed is how quick their hands have been tonight. Thanks to that, they've gotten a lot of points off of turnovers. 
That's good from Anthony. And Anthony drops them both. And Phoenix has possession. Trailing by four. Some tough offensive sets. They want to turn it around. Yeah, right now you just need a bucket to get some momentum. Kicks it out to Johnson. Offensive rebound. Kaminsky. And there's two points. Working on the glass, paying off that time. That's just staying in the moment. Keeping with the current possession. Rondo passes to Horton Tucker. And it's blocked. 130 left in the first quarter of the game. It's stolen by Anthony. And now it's Rondo running all the way. Here he goes. The speed of Rondo is not easy to keep up with. When he's driving to the rack, he is looking to get the defense up in the air. Foul. And what an incredible run for the 2020 Lakers in the bubble. Of course, LeBron and AD got the headlines, but Rajon Rondo was also key. Huh? We Take saw a break. GA a break. playoff Rondo Two at shot. his peak. He had 107 assists in the playoffs, the most for a player off the bench in almost 50 years. The free throw drops for Rondo. You know, Rondo takes great pleasure at slicing and dicing up the defense. One of the best passers in the game. And both free throws good from Rondo. We've got 123 left to play in the first. Bridges outside. Kaminsky sets the pick for Bridges. Bridges. A well, shot that time, not on target. And the Lakers will go the other way with it. This game against Phoenix here, it's the first look at the Suns. And they're facing the team that dismissed them from the postseason last year. So certainly a little payback in mind. And he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. Mikel Bridges picks one up. Uh, and inside is where Howard does the most damage, especially how he gets these calls. This is his first free throw of the game. Shooting two. And not the guy you want to see at the line too often. Season numbers has him in the bottom tier of the league. The first one falls. And trailing here in the early going, too many careless fouls, and they're giving up a lot of trips to the line. The Suns making a switch here. Peyton's checked in. And he makes the first, but misses the second. And the defensive prowess of Howard is simply phenomenal. Not only a shot-blocking master, but his mere presence alone makes shooters incredibly nervous. Now here's Kaminsky. Just five to shoot. They get a hand on it. It's stolen by Rondo. Pass to Horton Tucker. And they call the foul, so he's got the and one chance here to make it a three-point play. And really, it's been a major aspect of their offense in the early stages here. Their success working the ball inside and getting points from close range. And he's got his first chance at the line here. Had a success rate from the line last year of about 78%. Find the lane. Find the lane. He's checked in one for shot. the Lakers. Andre Ayton's checked in for Phoenix. seconds left to play here in the first. Peyton the screen. Peyton kicks to Shannon. 
steps in the train. When trading Shamit for Tobias Harris, the Sixers fear they were giving up a great three-point shooter, and they were right. And here's none. Monk sets the screen for none. The tray. And that does it for the first quarter. The Lakers on top, leading by five. Live from the Staples Center, you're watching 2K Sports. And if you're just joining us, we've played through one quarter in this one. And taking a look at Los Angeles' performance here, what have they been doing or not doing? Yeah, in that first period, they look to push in transition at every opportunity. That's their mindset. Attack, attack, and attack some more. You're not going to beat them playing soft. Suns trail by five. The two megastars are the big men, LeBron and Davis. Kendrick Nunn out there with Russell Westbrook. And it's Anthony in at the three, the small forward. That's who's in the game for the Lakers. Eight and a screen on Nunn. Five to shoot. Crowder with three. Booker, another three for Phoenix. Superb vision and decision by Jay Crowder. Rotating the ball, executing this offensively. Flawless. Now here's LeBron. And he can't answer back. The three-pointer offline. Crowder is screen on none. Kicks it out to Paul. And the wide-open shot from Crowder. And a great assist by Paul as that one goes in. Paul's got three assists tonight. Anthony sets the pick for LeBron. Gets it to go. That one good from none. Yeah, and, and when you're hit... You gotta hit back. And you know he was going to try to respond. Those threes canceling each other out perfectly. Now here's Booker. 13 points in the game. And that one's good, Aiton. An awesome distributor. Booker's floor awareness and understanding of when to dish it is a real weapon. None against Booker. None kicks to Anthony. Again, Los Angeles. That's the pass you want orchestrating the offense, creating for others. And the pass to Shamit. Second shot opportunity, and Aiton with the layup. Aiton's got the game tied up here for the Suns. A towering presence on the offensive glass. Aiton uses his height well to keep possessions alive. Anthony can't hit. And so Booker will bring it up for the Phoenix Suns. There's Shamit. Off target from three-point range. Los Angeles has gotten fewer than half of their three-pointers to go down tonight. They're four for nine. Gets it to go. That one good from none. And they're right around 50% for the game on their threes. And they've only gotten better as the game's gone on. Three-pointer. Crowder. Good on the three-point shot. Crowder's got 12 in the game. And that makes it two three-pointers in the quarter so far and four for the game. Davis with a screen on Booker. Booker against LeBron. On the top of the key. Not enough on that one as it misses. I wonder what the score would be if they weren't controlling the backboard. Shamit the pass to Crowder. Nice ball movement by Phoenix. Passes it to Shamit. And no good. Had a chance to take the lead there. Not sure why he keeps trying his luck from deep here. It's just not his night. Pass to none. He kicks it to Anthony. Off target from outside. Phoenix has gone three of five beyond the arc since the start of the second quarter. Now let's go to the sideline and catch up with our Hall of Famer, David Alden. Thank you, Kevin. Well, the three-point shot of Mikel Bridges seemed to abandon him early in his NBA career. Coach Monty Williams said he developed a hitch in his release. 
and Bridges got in the lab with the coaching staff, changing his shot midway through CB2. And the results speak for themselves. Guys? He had a career year shooting, that's for sure. I admire his work ethic. DA, thank you. The Lakers have shot 8 of 10 from the line. That's an even 80% free throw shooting here. And talking about last season, this team hit just 74% of their free throws. I'm sure they were hoping for better than that. Shooting two. First one falls for him. And Smitty, I'm going to ask you to put your GM hat on here for a second. When you think of undervalued player types, what comes to mind? For me, Kevin, defenders who are also great decision makers offensively. Everyone knows you need shooting, but you add in a player that can defend and pass, that's how you build an elite team. That one misses. On top of being a great player, AD's a great teammate. Even forcing his way out of New Orleans, he was honest about what he wanted, didn't complain along the way, and hasn't complained since. Here's James. Devin Booker picking up that last basket. Pass to Davis. So the wing on the left. Too long in the paint, and he's hit with a three-second violation. And look at how the offensive approach has been going here so far for Phoenix. Their passing has been excellent here early. A lot of their baskets coming off and insist. That Let's should shot. set a great tone for the rest of the game. And also, they've gotten the three-pointer to fall tonight as well. That's equally as important. That's good from Anthony. On defense, the Suns. And Davis can't get it to go. And there's the foul on Jay Crowder. That'll be his second foul of the game. His second foul in as many quarters. We'll see if he backs off or stays aggressive. And the Lakers making a change here. Bazemore is checked in. And here is Los Angeles now. Davis setting the pick for LeBron. LeBron is doubled. And the rejection by Aiton. And, and using that wide reach to reject shots. Aiton can't afford to throw up weak stuff around the big side. Lock it two. Bazemore for three. Good. And the assist goes to James. LeBron's got five assists tonight. Yeah, that's a high percentage look when the D doesn't fight over the screen. The reason why it takes extra energy to do it. You have to trust your defensive rotations. But it's worth it. And here's Westbrook after the three-pointer from Jay Crowder. Here's the lob to the hoop. Oh, and they get in the way of the alley-oop. Not to be. Good play defensively. Booker against Bazemore. And they pick up two. Booker's got 17 now. He's been a big factor in their offense tonight, making shot after shot. And with Chris Paul, he makes this team work gets the most out of his teammates and has done that wherever he's played. Some guys just understand how to generate points. He's one of them. And there's the pass to Bridges. Here's Aiton. And block. That one goes careening off the glass. Merciless swap by LeBron. There are no easy looks when King James is on you. The shot's good from Ellington. As you said, Paul's teams often overachieve in the standing. People still underestimate his impact. Sets up and improves his guys as well as anyone. And he's the engine to this whole operation. Now James, after Devin Booker missing on that last three-pointer. The added strength helping Davis on these physical finishes. Great work from the big man. It's Crowder on the wing. Trains the three-pointer. He's got 18. And he is having an unbelievable game from three-point range. How long can he keep this up? Paul with the steal. And now the Suns, a fast break. Feeds to Booker. Terrific assist. A nice finish. Solid play all around. And you know, defenses try to get physical with Booker. And now he's used to that. He just plays 
through the contact. Baysmore, no one around him. No good from outside. And so it's Crowder with it. He'll bring it up for the Phoenix Suns. They'll host the Denver Nuggets after this one. That game will be a quick pit stop before hitting the road again. Here's Paul. And oh boy, a lot of contact there, but he gets the call and will shoot two. You know, when you're as crafty as CP3, you can have longevity in this league. It all comes down to health and want to. This is his first trip to the line tonight. And, and over the course of last year, he was up over 90%. And with a stroke like that, you see why. And that one falls for Paul. I love the effort level Chris Paul delivers day in and day out. He's been doing this for a while now, but he hasn't slowed down, not a bit. Frank Kaminsky, he's checked in for the Suns. Paul throws both of them. And that's the norm for him. He's pretty much automatic when he's at the line. Pass to Baysmore. Yes, it's James picking up the assist. Baysmore's got it all tied up now for Los Angeles. for Peyton. He was checked in for Chris Paul. All right, a chance to check out stats for Russell Westbrook. Last season, he played outstanding. First in assists. And he also finished the season in the top 10 in rebounding. It's just a terrific year on the glass. And dropping a lot of dimes. He led the league in assists because he's the ultimate competitor. An absolute magician with the basketball. baysmore has gone two or three from the floor. In the corner, it's Bridges. Peyton left side. Pass to Booker. On the wing, Bridges. Good. And a nice assist from Booker. Bridges has got the lead up to three now for the Suns. Sweet find. Understands that that has a nice feel for giving up the rock. Now here's Westbrook. Davis, that's for two. And the Lakers tack on two more. Davis has gone four of six from the floor here tonight. Kaminsky is screen on Westbrook. Bridges, no one around him. Misses the three. And you don't want to give up that kind of look too often. In the corner, Baysmore with it. Davis controls the rebound and puts it back up and in. And the Lakers lead by one. Booker outside. Driving inside. No good that time. Good D by Westbrook. On the wing, Ellington. 
Bridges against Davis. Davis setting the pick for LeBron. Six on the shot clock. Back to Ellington. And he's good on the free ball. Now it's a four-point Los Angeles lead. Starting to heat up now. He nailed one from behind the arc in the first quarter, two here in the second. Stolen by Westbrook. Here's Bazemore, and the slam dunk by Bazemore. Constant energy. Westbrook's effort on D leads to a hoop. You're not going to outwork this guy. Back to Booker. Kaminsky sets the pick for Booker. And that time, also a missed shot. Lakers leading by six. Bazemore passes to Davis. And it's Davis with the jam. That's what you get from a vet like Bazemore making the next pass. And the Suns call time. And the lack of rim protection, top of the list. And it boils down to the question. Toughness. One team showing it, the other allowing itself to be bullied. Some changes here for the Lakers. Howard's checked in for Davis. Lisa comes in for Kent Bazemore. And Monks subbed in for Wayne Ellington. And the Suns making a change here as well. Cameron Johnson's checked in for Crowder. Peyton looking it over. Booker outside. Takes it to Peyton. The end the drought. Rebounded by the Lakers. Westbrook's got his fifth rebound in this one. At the elbow, it's James. He dishes it to Howard. It's stolen by Kaminsky. Bridges with it. He's picked up by Ariza. From 15 feet away, and it's off the back rim. No good. And they just can't find a way to end this thing. Nothing falling right now. All you see is a lot of frustration. Someone needs to step up and make a play to turn this thing around. That's good from Howard on the assist by Westbrook. Westbrook's got five assists in the game. And the physicality of Howard completely overwhelming the defense. Now here's Peyton. No points in the game yet for him. Pass to Booker. In the corner, it's Bridges. Knocks down the three ball. Bridges has got a pair of triples in the second now for Phoenix. This is the shot you want to get him. An open look from range. Howard finds Ariza. And again, it's the Lakers from deep. Both teams running perimeter-oriented plays that are working. How often do we see this these days? Clubs answering each other from range. Here's Booker, and that's off the glass and in. Booker's got 11 here in this quarter alone. They're still behind, but not because of his efforts. He's been unbelievable this quarter. And it's Ariza in the corner. 
A three-pointer, no good. And here's LeBron outside. Hands it from downtown. James has got the lead up to 11 now for the Lakers. And yeah, that's back-to-back -back threes. The D just seems to be slacking off a little bit. And there's the defensive three-second call. And this is his first trip to the line tonight. And I know he was pleased with his foul shooting last year. How about 87% from the line? And the technical free throw is good. An accurate shooter from all areas of the floor. Booker has the confidence needed to dominate on offense. Just one second between the shot clock and game clock. In the corner, it's Bridges. And a miss there on the triple. And it's Ariza in the corner. It's good coming on the assist by Rajon Rondo. Ariza's got his third bucket of the night. One of the more instinctive passes over the last decade. Rondo quickly locates the open man. And we've reached halftime in this one. Lakers lead by 13. And we'll be back right after halftime for the start of the third quarter. We'll see you in a bit. Thanks for joining us, everyone. Let's first take a gander at the rest of the NBA schedule for the night and what's in store. Let's talk video games for a departure. Kenny, what would you say is the best part of enjoying a game on 2K Sports? The unbeatable broadcast, the in-depth analysis, my career, my team, the star power of all of these players. What's not to like? And plus, there's some pretty faces to look at during the halftime show. Which ones? Like who? <laughs> <laughs> All right, fellas, let's check in on our first half of action and the dominating performance for the Los Angeles Lakers. Well, they've shown a lot of discipline at the offensive end. It's not about getting the quick shot. It's about getting the good shot. And if you want to know how that approach is working, just check out their field goal percentage. And that's a halftime wrap. Let's get back to the second half with the call by Kevin Harlan and the crew. Well, we've got a second half of basketball for you. We think it's going to be pretty good. A big comeback, though, is needed for this game to be competitive, and it probably has to happen quickly. You know, guys, Devin Booker has been exceptional here. Well, through the first two, he has been nothing short of a marksman from deep. What can you say? Shooting is a premium in this league, and you can see why. And with the second half upon us, we'll find out if this game becomes the route that it's threatening to be. On the court for the Suns, the star backcourt of Paul and Booker are out there. Hop it forward, they'll have Bridges and Crowder. And it's Aiton in at the five spot. Bridges shot, good. Attacking the defense with the pass. Don't need to be a hero. And here's James outside. And again, it's the Lakers from deep. 12 straight points off of three-pointers and the D, McShelsea. And that's a foul. It's called on Wayne Ellington. That's his first foul. How about that strong defensive performance for this half's mobile one block? And a block like that sends a message. One that says we're not giving up this lead. Here's Aiton, right wing. Bridges finds Crowder. Aiton up top. 
on the wing, Bridges. Some nice ball movement here by the Suns. Five on the clock. Poked away. It's stolen by Davis. James outside. And he drops in the layup off the glass. James has got five points in the quarter. Tremendous breakdown ability off the dribble. LeBron also finishing through contact. Ball against Westbrook. And Booker kicks to Crowder. On the wing, Booker. Just five to shoot. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. That's on LeBron James. Such an active shooter. Love how Booker gets defenders to try and be physical with him. The Suns shooting their fourth and fifth attempts at the free throw line tonight. Shooting two. And he knocks down the first one. Both free throws good from Booker. And we're just about a minute and a half into the third quarter of basketball. Not loose. And that one goes out of bounds. Last touch by Bridget. And this is what the schedule looks like coming up for the Phoenix Suns. On Wednesday, they'll be matching up with Nikola Jokic and the Denver Nuggets. Then on Friday, they'll face off against DeAndre Jordan and the Los Angeles Lakers. Now, here's Westbrook. Over a minute and a half into the third quarter of action. Here's Bridges. And a great assist by Paul as that one goes in. Paul's got his eighth assist in the game. Ellington with it. He's got ten. There's the pass to Westbrook. Here's Ariza. And again, Los Angeles with the triple. And they're getting their points now almost exclusively from the triple. Four of their last five mates are from beyond the arc. Passes it to Booker. Launches it. A rebound by the Lakers. Following this one, they get to host the Warriors. That'll be the second of four games at home for them. James. And again, it's the Lakers. A threat from every spot on the floor. LeBron still probably the toughest cover in the league. Takes it from 10. That one's in there. The Lakers lead is cut down to 14. Getting a little bit closer on the bucket from Aiton. Aiton is a player who Greg occasionally shoots a three, but it's still a developing part of his game. Yeah, you know, not the best numbers from outside. Does it to keep teams honest, but it's a far fetch to say he can stretch a defense. Westbrook with the steal. Down low. Got a piece of it. And stolen by Aiton. With the step back. Count that one. Paul's got six points. So crafty down low. Chris has every shot in the book. Pass to Ellington. Back to James. Paul grabs the board. Suns trail by 12. Bridges dishes to Aiton. Good on the bucket. He's got eight. And they're beginning to just flat out fall apart defensively right now, especially on the interior. James looking it over. Dishes it to Davis. It's Ariza on the wing. Sinks the triple. Ariza's got a pair of threes now here in the third for the Lakers. They'll be with very little pressure on their perimeter shooters. Three of the last five baskets they've allowed have been from beyond. To the inside. Oh, a nice defensive play to disrupt the alley-oop. Davis in the corner. That's tipped. That's going to be out of bounds. Los Angeles will retain possession. Horton Tucker's checked in for Trevor Ariza. Out of bounds. Phoenix takes possession. No one had more success at the foul line last season than this group of players. Number one, Chris Paul. And no doubt he finished the season right where he should have on that list. He was far and away the best free throw shooter in the league. And that's a foul. It's called on Wayne Ellington. That's foul number two for him. 
And the next one puts him in the bonus. Now here's Paul. He's got six. Booker outside. And James picks up the foul. That's foul number two for him. Los Angeles on D. It's a 13-point game. Lock at six. Eight in the screen on Davis. Paul passes to Bridges. It's over Ellington. Bridges misses. For Los Angeles, they've gone five of seven from the field in the third quarter. Let's see if they can keep it up. Westbrook finds James. Knocks it loose. Bridges with the steal. And here we go. Fast break. Paul's got it. Nice ball movement by Phoenix. LeBron against Booker. Here's Ayton. Misses off the left iron. And it's Davis with the ball for Los Angeles. At one point, they led by 16. LeBron could. Another good play. This is how they built the lead, calling on the right guys at the right time. The reason why they stayed aggressive, and they have not let up this entire night. And at this point, I wouldn't expect them to. And he's really shot the ball well, but, but it hasn't been contagious. Pass to Westbrook. For the three. And it's James missing. Suns trail by 12. Bridges passes to Crowder. Now James. 17 points in the game. And there's the call on Devin Booker. That's his first foul. Kendrick Nunn, he's checked in for the Lakers. And Phoenix also making a switch. Landry Shamit's checked in for Booker. None passes to LeBron. Eight for 15 with that made basket, but he's not satisfied yet. Wow, unconscious has he been this quarter. They're riding that hot hand. Paul passes to Aiton. He kicks to Crump. A three-pointer off the mark. This is the shot they wanted to get. Right guy, right spot, wrong result. None wide open. No oh, good with the triple. Suns trail by 14. Shamit on the wing. Carries it from three-point range. Shamit's got six. You love Shamit's court awareness. Presents himself where he can catch and fire without hesitation. Here's Paul. No good there, and that would have cut it to single digits. Lakers leading by 11. Davis, the pass to Westbrook. Kicks it to James. And it's a defensive three-second violation. And a breakdown here, guys. The hustle stats for Los Angeles. I mean, a fantastic game for them in open court. Their fast break points really stand out. Yeah, and also the way they've been able to generate points off of the turnovers that they forced tonight has also helped. Big group substitution here for the Lakers. Howard's checked in for Anthony Davis. Carmelo Anthony comes in for James. Kent Bazemore's checked in for Wayne Ellington. And it's Malik Monk in for Russell Westbrook. And then for Phoenix Johnson, he's checked in for Mikhail Bridges. Peyton comes in for Landry Shamit. And Cameron Payne subbed in for Paul. Now here is Howard. He has five. The pass to none. Here's Bazemore. Just five on the clock. With the drive, gets it to go. That one good from Nunn. Nunn's got his third basket of the night. They're doing a really good job of getting the ball inside and attacking the paint. That's an area they have completely dominated. Peyton against Nunn. Peyton trying to break free. And terrific work on the offensive glass, and he picks up two. 
10 points for him. And, and padding that field goal percentage, just hard to stop Aiden when he gets the ball that deep. The drive by Anthony and stolen by Peyton. Crowder feeling it out a bit. And a miss there with a chance to cut the lead to single digits. And we've got an update here, so let's check in with David Aldridge reporting from the sideline. Thank you, Kevin. As NBA revenues climb into the tens of billions of dollars, teams have even more resources to compete. Staffs are growing with more coaches, trainers, and specialists so general managers have more to manage than ever. Generally, the best organizations are those that effectively collaborate and communicate across the board. Kevin? And D.A., as we know, that's always been the case. Thank you. Aiton finds Johnson. Aiton, the screen. Banked in off the glass. Beautiful call that time up the floor. The hard screen frees him up for the bunny. Here's none. He's got nine. And there's the foul on Jay Crowder. And that'll be his third foul so far. And here's Anthony for three. And it's Phoenix with the rebound. Ayton's got his 16th rebound on the night. In the corner, Crowder with it. Passes it to Payne. The feed now to Ayton. And that one drops for him. And 12 points for DeAndre Ayton. And there's a pattern starting to take shape here. They're working it inside and getting good shots from close range. And it's Payne in the corner. To the paint. It's tipped. That one's in there. The Lakers lead is cut to just nine on the basket from Ayton. It's really been a tale of two halves, guys. A slow start, but this quarter, he has really been the man. Baysmore passes to Howard. Rejected by Crowder. Jay Crowder didn't give up on the play. Tracking the ball, blocking the shot. His coach appreciates the hustle. And so Baysmore will bring it up for the Lakers. At one point, they led by 16. Hits the three-point pass. Baysmore's got 10 points. And really, as the three-pointers keep dropping, you get the sense that the frustration is mounting for the defense. Payne passes to Ayton. Well-time pass, and he goes straight to the bucket for the layup. 16 points for DeAndre Ayton. And Los Angeles with some changes. Trevor Ariza's checked in for Kent Bazeman. Ajahn Rondo is subbed in for Kendrick Nunn. And then for Phoenix, Devin Booker comes in for Alfred Payton. And Paul's subbed in for Cameron Payne. We've got 128 left in the third quarter. 
Lobbed up there for Howard. Booker with it. He's picked up by Rondo. Booker finds Paul. Pass to Aiton. Over Monk. That one's good. The Laker lead is cut down now to just eight on the basket from Aiton. And that's 10 straight points in the paint. The defense, nowhere to be found. Rondo passes to Howard. And there's the drive. Kicks it out to Ariza for three. The shot off that time. The Suns go the other way with it. 13 feet away. And the Suns tack on two more. You can see just how polished a shooter Chris Paul is. His form could not be any better. Pass to Anthony. And the rejection by Eaton. Ariza outside. Yes, it is good. The assist from Rondo. Rondo's got three assists tonight. Three triples in the first half. Three in the second. Boy, do they add up. And here's Booker. In the corner, Crowder with it. Trying to answer back, but that three is off the mark. And so it's LeBron James making things happen for Los Angeles. He comes away with 11 points in the quarter and is showing no signs of fatigue. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. And let's go back to a terrific pass that we're calling tonight our State Farm assist of the game. And he sliced the D wide open with this feed. They had no chance to prevent that basket. Creating plays for others, it's an art form, but it's also a discipline. Fantastic job. The fourth quarter has arrived. So good to have you with us. A moment now to reset the lineups. Back to us by Gatorade. All fueled up here for the fourth quarter. Taking a look at Los Angeles. They've got Trevor Ariza. Anthony out there with Davis. That's Rajon Rondo. And it's Westbrook in at the shooting guard position. Got a piece of it. Paul with the steal. Here's Bridges, and it's slammed in by Bridges. The quickness of Chris Paul isn't limited to just his offense. He is an amazing defender who can really rack up the steals. Westbrook passes to Anthony. That one a little long. Trying to finish out the game strong. You have to recognize who has the hot hand and get him the ball. Here's Booker, and Davis sends it back. And for the ball out of bounds, Davis touched it last. The Lakers making a switch here. James is checked in. Bridges against Anthony. Back to Crowder. Nice ball movement by Phoenix. Pocket four. Such a wide open look. And that's a double-double for him now. 11 points and 10 assists. Davis setting the pick for LeBron. Three-pointer Ellington. A Crowder pulls it in. Crowder's got his fifth rebound in this one. On the wing, Bridges. Good, and Paul gets the assist. Bridges has got five points in the quarter. Well, and it took a terrific effort at both ends to sustain this run. Oh, oh, where did that come I from? loved it. That was beautiful. Loved it. And there's the ferociousness. Got to enjoy Westbrook taking flight and slamming it down there with authority. Now here's Booker. Here's Hayton, and he could not get that one to go. Out of contact, and he'll go to the line for two. That one's on Anthony. Oh. 
Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. Free throw drops for Aiton. And you just have to be enticed by the skill set of Aiden, a seven foot one behemoth who plays with a lot of physicality and skill on both ends. Aiton hits them both. And so James will bring it up for the Lakers. At one point, they led by 16. On the wing, Ellington. Oh, good on the triple. It's amazing. All night, he's been out of sync on the offensive end. Yet, they continue to lead. In the corner, Crowder with it. A three-pointer is right on target. Crowder's got 21. And that's another three. And if really, if the defense is hoping that they don't heat up from out there like they did in the first half, they may be in for a real bad surprise. And still looking for his first triple of the second half. He had three at halftime. And he comes up with the deuce. And you talk about fighting your way back into a game. They've shown a lot of grit in this comeback. Tremendous composure on display. When they were down big, they did not panic. They just stuck with the game plan. And stolen by James. Now the pass to Ellington. He kicks to Westbrook. To the middle. Deflects the pass. Crowder goes in. Bridges passes to Paul. Passes it to Aiton over Anthony and there's Aiton and that's good on the assist by Paul now it's a six point Suns lead and a moment here to take a look at some of the hustle stats for the Suns they've been playing such pesky defense it's been very impressive especially all the turnovers they've caused and also yeah, they take a lot of pride in their ability to rebound the basketball especially on the offensive end there you go that's the stroke we saw in the first half Three-pointer, Crowder, another three for Phoenix. And you can tell he's looking for his shot. He just believes in it. You know why? Success breeds confidence, and he's certainly been successful from there time and time again. Three-pointer, Ellington, and they get it back. Here's James, the three. Yep, it goes in, and the Suns lead is cut down to three on the bucket from Ellington. Had that one in his sights, too. His fifth triple of the game, second this half. And the foul called on Russell Westbrook. That's his third foul of the game. Here's Ayton. Plays it up and banks it in. Ayton's got 24. And the all-around offensive game Aiden has it is just fantastic. Capable of scoring in many different ways. Three on three. Here's Booker. And it's Anthony Davis with the rebound. Davis has got his eighth rebound here tonight. A shot by Anthony. Nobody around. Yes, it's James picking up the assist. It's simple. If you get open, LeBron will find you. The king is an incredible passer. Davis with a screen on Paul. The bucket is good. He'll have a chance for one more. That one on Aiton. And that's right in his wheelhouse. Looking to make an impact when it counts. It's the fourth quarter and it's a close game. You want to get the ball to someone you can rely on. And they now lead as the free throw drops for him. Here's Paul. Booker in the corner. Pass to Aiton. And Phoenix with another turnover here. Careless turnover. You lose focus for even a moment in this league. 
That's the result. Lakers have gone 5 of 10, 50% from the field. Here's Westbrook. Here's Davis. He shoots again, and he lays it up and in. Now it's a three-point Los Angeles lead. So hard to keep AD off the glass. He's got the length, the timing, and the consistency of effort. With three, Booker, and the three ball is good. Booker's got ten points in just the second half. Defensively, you can't back off him that much. You don't want to give up easy threes at this stage of the game. James outside. Westbrook with a screen for James. Five to shoot. On the arc. The Lakers keeping it going. A new 14-second shot clock. And it's good for two. I love the assertive play from Anthony Davis so far. Refusing to back down on the offensive end. Paul looking over the floor. And Chris Paul picks up the foul. And that'll be his third foul so far. Well, those five turnovers, more than you like to see. Oh, great defense. They anticipated the play and got there first. Outside Westbrook. And good as it just snugs right down through the net. The quick thinking of Westbrook, sensing separation and electing to go right up with it. Pass to Bridges. It's Crowder on the wing. Another three for Phoenix. In the first half, he got wild and loose from beyond the arc. Now he's hit three more since. Remarkable. Davis setting the pick for LeBron. Shoots from the block. It's hauled in by the Suns. Paul with the ball. From downtown, another three for Phoenix. The defense a step slow, and you can see the result. We've got an update here, so let's catch up with David Aldridge. Thanks, guys. I was able to hear Frank Vogel talk to his team during the break. With this game still up for grabs, he told his team, hey, we're in position to take this one, guys. Let's stay focused and stay together, and we'll get it done. We'll see how it plays out, Kevin. The Lakers have gone 8 of 16 from the field in the fourth, exactly 50%. Here's LeBron. Kicks it to Anthony. Lets it go from the baseline and nails it. Anthony's got five points in the quarter. In the shooting form of Anthony, just perfect. He's dangerous with the catch and shoot and just terrific at scoring when in rhythm. And the foul called on Anthony Davis. That'll be his second foul of the game. Paul outside on the pass to Bridges. Paul outside, six to shoot. Three pointer, Crowder. Rebound the Lakers. LeBron's got double digit rebounds now in the game. And Chris Paul picks up the foul. That will get him his fourth foul of the game. This could be a problem. That's his fourth foul with plenty of basketball left to play. Trevor Ariza's checked in for Carmelo Anthony. And here's Davis for three. Hey, Crowder pulls it in. Crowder's got six rebounds here tonight. 
Ball's knocked loose. Pass to Paul. For three, Bridges. That counts. He's put up 13 shots, and he's had eight of those go in. An even stronger second half. Tremendous efficiency at the offensive end of the field. And again, another assist. That makes 15 assists. He's been one step ahead of the defense all game long. Paul inside and the dunk by Booker this is a guy who once scored 70 points in a game Booker doesn't take much for him to start percolating LeBron wishes to Davis for three Ellington the shot no good the Suns go the other way with it and they bump this quarter he's trying to shoot his way out of it James outside, wants to get it to Westbrook, and does. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. The absolute fearlessness, it's why we love Westbrook, just getting after it and drawing the contact. He's off on the first. Hard to believe that Westbrook is in his 30s. Elite burst. He's still one of the more feared players for opponents. Good on the second free throw. And so it's Paul bringing it up for the Suns. They lead by one. Kicks it out to Booker. Back to Paul. Suns moving the ball around. Shot clock at six. Another three for Phoenix. These are big buckets. He's been instrumental in helping them try to close out this game. LeBron outside. Shooting foul. As the whistle blows, he'll shoot two free throws. That one on Ayton. And once LeBron gets the ball in the painted area, the force he plays with it's hard not to foul him. Two shots. And the first one at the line is good. You love what LeBron James brings on the court, off the court, in the community. His contributions are always front and center. And both free throws, good for James. The Suns leading. Paul outside. He feeds it to Aiton, and Aiton throws it down. Impressive at using the pick and roll. Aiton slips well to the basket after setting that screen. Outside Westbrook. For three, Ellington. Good, and the assist goes to LeBron. Ellington's got nine points here in the second half. If you came to watch a scoring battle, you're in the right place. Yeah, both teams trying to close out strong. These are the fireworks that fans came to see. And really, these are some of the toughest calls an official has to make.
Westbrook against Paul. Master Booker fires from deep. And Davis pulls it down. The Lakers trail. There's a reason to take the lead. And we'll have a chance for a three-point play. That one on Aiton. Well, when we talk about AD as an athlete, a major component to that is his body control, able to adjust off contact to finish the play. Getting it done at the line as he usually does, and that could be huge in a tight game like this one. Booker the pass to Crowder. Booker against LeBron. Back to Booker. Pass to Crowder. Six on the shot clock. Out to the wing. Here's Paul. The Lakers with the rebound. Davis has got rebound number 12 now. Tenacity on the glass. Owens it gets to West. Here's Davis. It's hauled in by the Suns. Here's Booker. It's over Ellington. It's good. He has tied up this game. Oh, what a shot. That is world class. Incredible shot with everything on the line coming through for his team. There's 53 seconds left to play in the final quarter. Davis with a screen on Paul. Oats it up for Davis. Stolen away. Nice job to interrupt the alley-oop attempt there. Paul dishes to Ayton. Paul passes to Book. Over in the corner, Paul. It drops. Totally unselfish play there from Aiden. Sends the ball to someone with a wide open look. Los Angeles calls timeout. They're trailing by two. 27 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Twenty-seven seconds left in the game, and they double up LeBron. Davis finds James, shoots from twelve. Good, a huge shot to tie it up. They can't really afford to foul here.
There's 14 seconds left in the fourth quarter. And Booker kicks to Aiton. Aiton the screen. Oh, Aiton in position. Yes! I love the play call. Uh, Aiton's a well-coordinated athlete. You know he has the reach. Give him a chance to go up and get it. And so it's Phoenix who straight by with the win. This win, such a tremendous emotional boost for him. Really an accomplishment and crazy finish <laughs> to take a road game like this and simply deflate an entire building. That concludes the first game of the NBA season. For Greg Anthony, David Aldridge, Steve Smith, and the rest of our terrific 2K sports crew, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for watching. And now our New Balance player of the game, DeAndre Ayton.